right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So right now, um, I'm doing a video today. Um, I promise you guys I'm going to be doing a bit uh newscast on dating website so let's get started on that and also um i'm going to be going to the lake today to uh have myself a good time over there um it's very sunny outside today so i figure i would join um i'm going to be putting some music on also um so let's see um um i'm going to be putting some tunes on while we are cruising on the road so um it's going to be good um i'm probably going to do youtube um just give me a minute here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Um, There we go. So, um, all right. Like I promised, I'm going to talk to you guys about dating websites. So, what I mentioned, um, the last newscast that um, the dating sites such as Tag, P O F, um, OK Cupid, Grinder, Tinder, all these dating websites. So, um, yeah. All right, so you know, if you had experience with dating websites, like you find someone that you met off the internet and you go and meet them in public, um, you know, and once you meet that person online, you don't really know that person unless you talk to them for a few weeks or a few months. You don't just go talk to them uh, right away or a few days, then go be them and expect to live with you. That doesn't end well right here. Um, and also, uh, they're also filled with fake profiles. Um, I'm going to demonstrate to you through screenshots on uh, what the fake profiles look like. On POF, um, sometimes you uh, go on POF and you look at the day profile. And you can also probably can tell the difference between um, real profiles and fake profiles and the fake profiles will send you a red flag almost instantly such for like for saying instance um they give you uh their snapchat they give you their phone number right off the bat um or let me tell you this they're also porn stars on there as well um they also give you their snapchat and their phone number and they expect you to pay for a good service. Really, on there, they're just selling service. They don't even want to date you. They just want uh, some money out of you. So, um, I good. thank God i never been in that situation. I did experience that similar situation, but I never gave her any money. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, they um, go in there. They post all their information. They gave you their Snapchat. And come to think of it, they're just... Um, once you see their Snapchat, they always posting uh, exotic nude pictures of themselves getting butt naked, showing their boobies, showing their uh, nipple piercings, uh, showing their private area, showing their genitals, and they you expect it to be all for you. Um, no, no, honey. Um, they're for everybody else to see. Um, they're not just doing it for you. They're doing it for everybody else. They're doing it for a living, by the way. But. Um, if they do that kind of work, uh, and if they're looking for real work such as healthcare, nursing, um, banking, mortgage, 
companies, um, something like that. Um, if the employers see that, you know, there is no way in chance they will hire them because they're a bunch of poor stars right there. Um, also, uh, when um, on tag, um, you won't find any porn stars on there as well. What that mean is that um, on tag, you will get blown up by millions and millions of messages every day. And what that means is that um, you get a message, they send you a message, they and right off the bat, you can tell it's fake because they will misspell a bunch of words. They will send you links to spam websites. And once you get there, they can steal your information right there. And they expect you to enter your credit card information as well. Um, same thing goes for POF as well. Sometimes they can do that. And, you know, once you... Uh, go in there, talk to that person, give you their Snapchat. That's why a similar thing I experienced, but I didn't go through with it. And they keep constantly blowing you up, blowing you up, blowing you up on that stuff. Expect you to send them money through gift cards and all this stuff. And, you know, you're not falling for that. I'm not falling for it. No smart man will never fall far for this dumb shit. For real. So, take it from me. Um, never been in that experience I'm giving you guys the heads up on what you should do if you counter a fake profile like that I am posting screenshots right now to show you what I'm talking about so you can save your skill the headache and the uh, stress of these people blowing you up asking you for money um, asking you to send them gift cards and all that stuff you know it's crazy right there so um, never been um, I don't even go to OkCupid that much, uh, but on Tinder, my experience is that um, you go on their profile, they sometimes give you their Instagram, sometimes they give you their Snapchat, you know, rarely, they barely give you their phone number, but if they do give you their Snapchat, you know, and you add them, you know, just um, remember that you're not the only one. There are other guys doing this as well. Just going for one girl. You know, there is a million guys that want that one, per one person. So, you just have to keep that in mind. You know, they ain't going to care about you for real. So, um, and, uh, by the way, um, as I'm going to the lake right now, I'm going to, uh, let you guys enjoy a little music and see, to show you guys how I roll, um, uh, with my lifestyle. Of course, um, I do live by myself, you know, got a stable job as of right now, you know, trying to help my business. Um, it's uh, going pretty good so far, you know, it's just, um, you know, when it gets too hot in the summer, it can, things can be hectic, uh, you know. So, right now is the summertime, my car temperature says 87 degrees right now, so it's closer to 90 degrees. Um, and it's talking about it's going to thunderstorm today. It's going to rain and thunder. I don't see anything yet. So um, I guess we're good for right now. So, yeah.
Alright guys, finally made it. Finally made it to the lake. See this great view out here? Got my feet in it. Wow. Now this is the third time actually recording this area around here. But anyways, um, back to what I was saying uh, about dating sites. So, um, like I was saying, um, um, you have to be careful on dating sites. Whether you meet good people or bad people or what. Um, just be careful of who you meet. Um, sometimes they can be robbers trying to rob you. They can try to, you know be gold diggers you know there could be fake profiles trying to trick you they're real people who knows but um i was just saying that pof um doesn't do all this um scammers or spammers trying to blow up your inbox with uh a lot of messages and stuff on pof you know they have fake profiles to that instantly give you um their snapchat facebook instagram their phone number um, if they post their phone number or personal information on there, chances are they are a, a fake profile. They're trying to scam you by sending gift cards and all that stuff just so you um, thought you could be loved with them. But in real life, they are scammers. So, um, yeah, uh, I just want I thought to let you guys know about that. Um, and pretty nice day. Fall's going to be storming. So far, there are no storms. People are out and about boating, catching fish, and all that stuff. There was an event right over there that I did not know about. Um, they're having a baseball game over at the Gunnersville Field. So, um, yeah. No, there's a lot. There's a green right right over there. Um, just leads it to the um, bottom road of Alabama 69. So, um, yeah. So, almost summertime. Um, thank God it's summertime. And all this water is splashing on me now, so, um, yeah, so, um, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed this newscast, um, and I hope I will see you on the next newscast, uh, on more serious topics, um, and I just wanted to mix it up today, talking about, uh, dating sites, um, talking about all that other good stuff, um, um, the next other newscast is going to be more serious stuff that's been going on. So be on the lookout for that. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let me sign off and enjoy this rest of this beautiful Saturday because um, I think next Saturday won't be as beautiful. But we'll see about that. So tomorrow's supposed to be stormy. So I'm prepared for that. And, you know, it ain't going to be like this tomorrow. So enjoy it while you can. So, um, yeah, so. I am Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.